Most of us are well aware of malware attacks that can be triggered when you open a file or tap on a link that takes you to a malicious website. It's usually easy to avoid these by not tapping on links or opening files sent to us by people we don't know. But over the last few years, there's been another type of threat gaining popularity known as a zero-click attack. These can happen even if you don't tap on a link or open a file because they are exploiting the ways that your text messaging app handles images that are being sent to you. Samsung has recently launched the Samsung Message Guard security feature for its Galaxy smartphones running One UI 5.1 and higher. Zero click attacks are difficult to detect since they happen without any interaction from the user. Once one has been sent, the operating system can become compromised and wipe any trace of the initial infection. So unless you're staring at the phone when the attack was sent to you, then you probably wouldn't even know that it ever happened. With Samsung Message Guard, your smartphone is going to automatically quarantine and neutralize potential attacks that are hidden within PNG, JPG, JPEG, GIF, ICO, WEBP, BMP, and WBMP image files. After these files have been isolated, this new security feature will scan the file before it has been processed. In turn, this means that your device will not be able to be infected by the potentially malicious code. As of right now, Samsung Message Guard is currently available on the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra smartphones that are running the latest version of One UI 5.1. There doesn't seem to be any toggle for this feature as it will be enabled automatically once you're running the version of One UI that contains this new feature. I've also not been able to find a place in the software where you can check if it's currently active on your device but it is only available on the Samsung Messages and Messages by Google applications right now. Samsung says that they will be making it available to some unannounced third-party messaging apps via a software update in the future, but they have not shared any additional details about when this will happen or which apps will offer the feature. Sadly, I've also not been able to figure out if Samsung Message Guard is reliant on the company's Knox security platform. Most of us who unlock the bootloader to our Samsung Galaxy smartphones or tablets are okay with giving up features like Samsung Health and Secure Folder. Tripping Knox is known for losing various security features but if it breaks Samsung Message Guard, then it may end up being a deal breaker for some people. I have sent an email to Samsung's mobile press contact in hopes to get some clarification about this. If I hear back from them, then I'll be sure to update the video description with this information, or I'll pin a comment on this video with all the additional details that I am able to find. And while it is currently available for the Samsung Galaxy S23 series, the company has confirmed that they will also be bringing Samsung Message Guard to their other Galaxy smartphones. It looks like those devices will need to be updated to One UI 5.1 in order to receive this zero click protection but we just don't know exactly when those updates will be pushed out to the public. 
I do hope that we see this feature highlighted somewhere in the settings app for One UI. Or they could at least display the status of Samsung Message Guard in the settings area of the messaging apps that it will work on. But as of right now, we're just told that Samsung Message Guard runs silently and largely invisibly in the background.